Hey you, welcome to this video where I will share with you the 7 plugins that you need for your WordPress website for the most optimal performance. So if you're a site speed junkie like me, you know it's never a good idea to install too many plugins or have a cluttered team. The last thing you want is your website to load more than 3 seconds and by then your site visitors would have left your site before visiting it. So you want everything to be sleek, you need a super lightweight WordPress team and you want just the right amount of plugins that provide the functionality and will not hinder the speed of your website. Now, if this is your first time watching a video from this channel, know that this video is part of the Start Your Personal Brand website video series. In fact, this is the third video of the series and there are a lot more to come. I intend to build this series up as a full course for personal branding online, so if you want to get a personal branding course for free, subscribe. Anyway, in the past two videos, links in the description, we have bought a domain name, we have hosted a domain on SiteGround, installed WordPress, created a user and installed SSL. Now before we go ahead and install my recommended WordPress team and plugins, let's talk about the 7 plugins that you need for your WordPress site for optimal performance. Let's start with security first. I recommend installing Akismet because it will help you detect and filter spam comments and the best thing is it is free. Now just think about it, if your site is new, you won't receive many spams, you'll have the time to filter spam comments and manage legitimate ones. But as your site grows, your business grows, you have tons of things to do. Do you think you have the time to manage spam comments manually? I don't think so, right? So that's why I think Akismet is a need for every WordPress site. Now, the second plugin I recommend is Yoast, the free version. And what it is, is basically a search engine optimization tool. Like for example, if you're going to write a piece of content on your website and you want it to rank on Google, you probably need to write a bunch of mumbo jumbo codes to let Google know that your content exists and what your content is about. But if you don't know how to write the codes, then you need Yoast. It's basically a plugin that allows your website to communicate with Google and at the same time, they have simplified everything and made it human friendly. So I would say that Yoast is an essential tool for every WordPress blog. I've tried many SEO plugins like All-in-One SEO Pack and Rank Math, but I think Yoast is still the best. That's my opinion. The third plugin I recommend is Pretty Links. This is one plugin that I use across all of my websites because it is a handy tool for managing your links. So for example, if today you're promoting a specific product, you have created a sales page with a page link like jackchow.com slash product dash A. Maybe you have printed that link on your van, you have written a few blog posts and included that link in there. Now perhaps a few months down the road, that product isn't working out. You need to take down that link from the van and manually remove the links on your blog post, problems occur, you need to waste time and energy for that. But if you have set up a pretty link right at the start, for example, if you have created a pretty link called jackchow.com slash promo and somebody clicks on it, you will set it to redirect to jackchow.com slash product dash A. Now if product A is not working out and now you want to sell product B, then all you need to do is to switch out the product A link and replace it with the product B link on pretty links. So the jackchow.com slash promo link that you have spread across the web and everywhere you have printed is still a workable link. So the Pretty Link plugin is a very good link management tool. Plus, if you're promoting an affiliate product and the affiliate link is super long and it doesn't look nice, you can cloak the affiliate link and make it look nicer. This plugin makes absolute sense to me and it is free and that's why I'm recommending it. Now, the fourth plugin I recommend is Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. Did I pronounce that correctly? So in the past, if you want to make your content look nice, you want to add columns or buttons or whatever to your blog post or web page, you need to have a page builder which will cost you some money. And you may need to sacrifice on site speed because using a page builder, it would definitely slow down your page load time, which is not ideal. So that's where this plugin comes in. It allows you to easily add buttons, columns, call to action on your web page without sacrificing much on page speed. Now, of course, if you're creating a sales page or a lead capture page, I still recommend building it with a page builder because it will look more professional. The design and customizability of this plugin is still not as good as those on page builders. This ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg is best for blogs or content that ranks on Google because it needs the speed. Now since we are on the topic of speed, do you know what is one of the major causes of slow site speed? Most of the time, slow site speed is caused by images on your website or web page. If the size of your image is too big, the dimensions do not fit your website or whatever, it will cause your website to load slower. 
So the fifth plugin I recommend is Imagify. It will help you resize your uploaded images as well as optimizing the images so that the size of your image is as small as possible, hence helping your site load faster. Plus, one of Google PageSpeed Insights requirements for a good rating is having your website serve WebP images. WebP is a new format of images specifically for websites to load their images faster than a normal JPEG or PNG without losing quality. And Imagify allows you to do that as well without spending any money. So, do you like the first five recommendations? If you do, can you do me a favor, hit the like button, I really appreciate that. And if you have any suggestions for plugins that you use, then please share it with me in the comments and I'd love to see what awesome plugins you use. Now, to my sixth recommendation, if you have an awesome content on your website that is share-worthy, you may want to have share buttons floating on the side or in line with your content. The thing is, any social sharing plugins you use will definitely cause your site speed to slow down. It's inevitable. But the thing is, you want to minimize the impact. So I've used many social plugins before like Social Warfare, Social Snap, but the one I think is the most lightweight is Grow by Mediavine. It used to be called Social Park. Now with the free version, you will have floating share buttons as well as inline share buttons which are social buttons in your content. But if you want mobile share buttons like this, then you will need to upgrade. It costs $34 per year for the upgrade but that's totally up to you. Personally, I feel the free version is good enough. I don't need the sticky mobile share buttons. If your content is good enough, the user will scroll and find your inline share buttons or they will copy the URL and share it. Having such mobile sticky buttons will only cost slower load time though it's a nice feature to have. Now we have come to the final plugin and after this I'll be walking you through installing the WordPress theme and plugins as well as having the right setup for each of them. So this is for you if you have followed along in the personal brand video series. If you want to know the step by step of how things are set up then stick around. Now the final plugin in this list is related to the theme I recommend which is Generate Press Premium Plugin. Honestly, I've used many different themes in the past but none of them was as fast as Generate Press. I've even pinned Astra, OceanWP and Generate Press together on a speed test with different speed test tools and Generate Press emerged as the fastest of all plus it is not expensive at all. For $49.95 per year, you can run this theme to unlimited websites. This is unlike their competitors where they will restrict you to the number of sites you can install the theme on. So with this premium plugin, you'll be able to customize your Generate Press theme layout, design, and basically anything freely. The key for me picking Generate Press as a theme is because of it being lightweight, highly customizable, and affordable. So I highly recommend that you check out the Generate Press premium plugin. I've left a link to get the premium plugin in the description. That's my affiliate link if you use that. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And don't worry about the setup. I will show you step by step on how to get the premium and install it in just a while. So now let me walk you through how to install your team and plugins on WordPress. So what you need to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard and if you don't know how to log in, you just need to have your domain name here and then slash WP admin. This will bring you to the login page of your WordPress website. So we are here. Remember we have created a new user and password. If you have missed that video, the link is in the description. So here we are on the WordPress dashboard. Now we want to install the theme first. So all you need to do is go to Appearance, Themes, Add New, and search for Generate Press. And you will see it here. You want to install it and activate it. So now we have all these teams over here. These are all default teams that SiteGround has installed for you. You want to remove it because the more unnecessary teams you have on the background, it causes the site to load slower a little bit. So click on Team Details, click on Delete. Okay. The same thing with this, click on Team Details and Delete. Okay. And we're done. Now the next thing we do is to find and install all the plugins that I recommend. So we go to plugins, add new. The first one is Archismat and as you can see over here, it has 5 million plus active installations. So we want to install this now and activate it. Okay, so if you're new to this, you want to set up your Archismat account. So set up your Archismat account. So what you want to select here, if you want to get this for free, you need to select this, get personal. You, and then you want to hover over here, click and drag it to zero, and then input your email address, 
Your first name, last name, jackchildtv.com. And then you need to check all this. I don't have ads on my site. I don't sell products. I don't promote business and then continue. And then you need to go to your email address. They'll be sending you a code, which you need to paste it here for confirmation. So this is the code I have. Click on continue. Now you need to go back to your WordPress dashboard. And then we are on this page, which is settings and under Akismet anti-spam. We want to enter a manual key. So they'll be sending you the manual key to your email address. And you'll see something like this. Copy this key and paste it here and connect with API key. And there you have it. You don't need to adjust the settings. So now let's install Yoast. Let's go to plugins and new. Over here, search for Yoast. And you'll see it right here, Yoast SEO. There are 5 million plus active installations. So install now. Activate it. And we're done. Now let's go to the settings. Now that's the premium version, but honestly, the free one is good enough. So let's check out the features. Nothing to change here. Integrations, nothing to change here as well. Webmaster tools, this is a topic for another video. I will show you how to get your Google verification code as well as the Bing verification code so that you can link the Google search console as well as the Bing Webmaster tool to your website. So let's continue search appearance. Now this title separator is basically what you can see on the Google search results. So for example, we are on Google. Let's search for how to build a personal brand. And the title separator is basically this over here. Dash Forbes, dash. We have this line over here, this line over here. So this is the title separator. It really is your personal preference if you want this line separator here or is it a star. Personally, I just use a dash. I'll leave it by default. So it's really up to you. So the next thing is you want to set this SEO title for your homepage. You can leave it as it is, but since this is a personal brand, I will change this to Jack Chow and then whatever you want to call yourself. Like for example, I'm a fitness trainer. So Jack Chow, then dash fitness trainer. Or if you are a speaker, it will be author, speaker or whatever. So for me, it is online entrepreneur. And that's basically it. We'll talk more about this on the next video. Meta description, we'll talk more about this as well. The next thing you want to change is this from organization to person because you're building a personal brand. And then you want to select the user you have created, which is your personal name. And then later on, we'll upload an image. So for now, let's save the changes. And then that's basically it for the settings of Yoast. Now let's install pretty links. Let's go to plugins again, add new. Search for pretty link this is what we are looking for it has 200,000 over active installations so we're gonna install now and then activate and that's basically it you don't need to do much settings now let's install the next plugin which is ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg let's go to plugins again add new so we are search for add-ons for Gutenberg and this is what we are looking for install now and activate and there is not much changes you need to do. So the next plugin to install is Imagify. And honestly, I will not be installing Imagify because if your website is hosted on SiteGround, you don't actually need Imagify because let me show you this. If you go to SiteGround, SG Optimizer, Media Optimization, it has this function of image optimization and it can also serve WebP images for your website. So for SiteGround users, you have one less plugin to install. Now let's install the Generate Press Premium plugin. So if you click on the link below in the description, you will see a page like this. So you want to click on this, get it now. And it's $49.95 for unlimited websites. And then for the renewal, you will get a 40% discount, which is very good. And you'll get a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like this team. So you add to cart. So you want to input your details then you want to click on purchase so once you have purchased it you'll see a page like this and then next you want to click on this link to go to your account so over here you need to download this plugin so you need to click on download and then next you want to go back to your wordpress dashboard 
and what you need to do is to go to plugins and new upload plugin click on browse go to downloads and you can see it right here GP premium double click on this and install now activate the plugin and then next you want to click on configure and you want to check this box so you select everything about actions activate it apply and then you need to input your license key here so that you will receive updates so you need to go to your generate press account copy this license key here and paste it here save it and we're done so we have installed all the necessary theme and plugins and we have done some initial settings let's not move any forward until we get our personal brand identity right in the next two videos i will try to guide you towards building your personal brand message so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and check the bell notification so that you will get notified whenever new videos are published you may also want to check out the start your personal brand website content plan in the description if there are videos already published i will update the list with the approval appropriate links. Anyway, if the next video in this series is published, you should be able to see it on the right. Thank you for sticking around and before you leave, can you please do me a favor? Can you please help to like this video if this video has been helpful? I really appreciate that and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.